Hey guys, Lindsay here, and with the release of my newest pattern, the Merida Knit Dress, I thought I'd take today as an opportunity to talk to you about my top six tips for working with knits. I know some of you are quite new to sewing, and maybe working with knits is just that little bit intimidating. Trust me, it is extremely easy. There's just a few things you need to know, so let's gather up our tools and go ahead and get started. Tip number one is choosing the right fabric. The fabric can make or break the entire outfit when you're sewing with knits, and it can give you a really good experience or a really awful, terrible experience. So if you're new to sewing with knits, I would suggest picking something that has a really great horizontal stretch. I particularly like using something that's either bamboo or cotton so it has a natural fiber in it and I really like things that have about a 3% spandex so that it has a nice stretch. I also like working with knits that have a two-way stretch so that when you feel it, it stretches up and down so on the vertical and also selvage to selvage on the horizontal. The other thing you want to look for is to make sure that it has recovery and what I mean is that when I pull the fabric, you can see that it easily snaps back into the place. So when you're at the shops and you're testing fabric, I do the knuckle test. I take my knuckle, I stick it underneath the fabric and push up. If I remove my knuckle and the fabric goes back into place, that means that the stitch, that the stretch has really nice recovery. If it's just 100% cotton or all natural fibers and it has no spandex or anything to give it structure, sometimes you'll find that you'll put your thumb up, you'll take it out, and it'll be really, really saggy. Tip number two, using the correct needle. So what I have here is a ball point needle. And what that means is that the end of the point is rounded and curved. The way knit fibers works is that they're intertwined. Think of having two knitting needles and knitting the fibers together. So what this does is instead of piercing through the fibers, which can cause runs, it moves them out of the way so that it can make little stitches. So this is not going to run your fabric and it's going to give you a much better stitch when you're working on knit fabrics. So we're going to tip number three, using the right thread and the right foot. So first of all, I always suggest in all of my videos that you make sure that you're using an extremely good quality polyester thread. Then we're gonna put on our foot. So when I'm working with knits, I like to use what's called a walking foot or a dual feed foot. What that means is that your machine, it has teeth on the bottom that pulls fabric along. This has teeth on the, on the foot as well. So they equally grab and pull the fabric along at the same time. So that helps eliminate any sort of puckers or runs or fabric shifting when you're sewing. Now we so. need to go to our machine and select the correct stitch. So what I like to use is what's called a lightning bolt stitch, which differs slightly from a zigzag. With a lightning bolt stitch, what you'll see is that it goes down at a slant and then comes back up and looks like a lightning bolt. What this does is it allows the stitch to stretch with the fabric. Watch as I sew with a straight stitch now when I pull on the straight stitch, you can see that the threads automatically pop because the threads don't move with the stretch of the fabric. However, when I sew with the lightning bolt stitch, when I'm done and I stretch the fabric, you can see that the knit and the stitch both stretch together. Now not all machines have the lightning bolt stitch, so you can use a very, very small zigzag. So tip number five is all about hemming your knits. So, this is the part that I find that most of my students think is really tricky and really hard because it can really make or break the finished garment. What I like to use is hem tape. Now, the way hem tape works is that it has a cotton twill running through the middle of it. One side you can iron on and the other side is fusible. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna fuse this to the wrong side of the fabric on your hem. You can see that it's about a half an inch wide, so it's the perfect width for doing your hem. Once you iron this onto your hem, it stabilizes the fabric. It keeps it from stretching or warping out of place so that when you turn it up, 
you pin it in place and you go to hem, it's going to keep it really nice and flat, just like you can see on my sleeves here and on the hem here, that it's really nice and flat and it doesn't warp and bend out of shape. So that's called hem tape and you can usually find it at your local um, sewing shop. Now, the other thing I like to use is my twin needle. Remember I talked about that a little bit earlier. So what this does, it gives you a faux cover stitch look. So when you look at your garments or things that are made out of knit, you'll see a really nice twin needle sort of look and they've done that with a special machine. But for us to achieve that on our normal domestic sewing machine, we're just going to simply use a twin needle. So and our last tip, number six. So this is all about finishing your seams. So I personally have an overlocker. I have the Husqvarna 200S overlocker and I like to finish all of my seams with a four stitch overlock. Now, not everyone has an overlocker. And what I like to suggest is that you just do a really nice simple zigzag to finish the insides of your garment because it just gives that more professional look. So I hope you guys really enjoy my top six tips to working with knits. If you're as excited as I am about making something with knits, I would really suggest trying my new dress, the Meriden Knit Dress, or perhaps it's a little bit cooler where you are and you wanted to try the Fall in Love cardigan. Both hat patterns have a complete and comprehensive full page of how to work with knits and all of my tips and tricks that I told you today. So don't be afraid, it's not that hard. Just jump in there, get started, and I hope you enjoyed today's episode on working with knits. See you next time.